are you doing? I'm about ready to say one of the acts of consecration to St. Joseph. Here we go again. This is another moment where Dan shows off his religious bone. Well, I am religious, you know. I mean, I haven't really shied away from that fact. And besides, you know, St. Joseph is probably a very important role model for us in our day and age with the way how the world is today. And I think a lot of young men really need to look up to St. Joseph to show off their toxic masculinity. No! That's not what being a man is all about. You know, being a man has nothing to do with toxic masculinity. That's just a sinful behavior that a lot of men exhibit for whatever reason, sometimes out of fear or insecurity or anything like that. Can I please say my act of consecration to St. Joseph? Oh, please do, Catholic. Well, I'm not Catholic. I'm Anglican, but whatever. O oh, glorious patriarch and patron of the church, O oh, virgin spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, O oh, guardian and virginal father of the Word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian, and my protector. O oh, great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, I, with her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue, protect me from the evil one, and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you, in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul, with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Doesn't that make you feel so refreshed? Why am I not surprised? You fell asleep while I was saying the prayer. Well, I'm sorry, man, but I'm just one of those people who just can't help but fall asleep during a very long prayer. <laughs>